Once you start receiving requests, you can see activity through your app blade. There are a few places to watch. First is the live HTTP traffic item. This is currently located under support and then troubleshooting as you can see here. This will show HTTP traffic to the IIS instance and reported server errors over time. If you find that your service is returning errors, you can dig a little deeper by turning on diagnostic logging. This is done through the diagnostic logs item. There are several things that you can activate which correspond to the IIS logging most web admins are familiar with. You can turn on application logging, web server logging, detail error messages, and failed request tracking, and then click save. Then use the log stream item to monitor the, the log on disk. Azure will read this live as it changes and show you what's happening on the server, including exception information if you turn on the diagnostic tracing. Finally, while it's beyond the scope of this class, you can turn on insights reporting on your site to track activity from specific app instances or users. This will collect analytics on your behalf, which you can then go through with the Azure console. Insights is Microsoft's offering and it works very well with Azure, but you can use other third-party analytics as well. For example, Azure supports New Relic, very popular analytics software.